how to use iTunes and be able to pull music to your iPhone, iPod, or iPad. First things first, you go ahead and open iTunes. And once you open iTunes, make sure that you see this icon right here. Now this icon right here is an indicator that your computer is detecting your device. If you don't see it, please check your cable. Make sure that you try to use the original cable. As for me, I try to use the two cheap cables that I bought and I wasn't able to see it. So anyways, this is the way I use iTunes for my iPhone 6. I first click on the phone and I go to summary then I go to music. I always make sure this option here is not selected. If you do have it selected it's going to delete everything that you have on your iPhone currently to the existing media files that's already that's on iTunes. Alright so make sure it's not selected. Additionally when you plug in the phone you don't want the phone to sync automatically so you go to iTunes preference devices and then make sure this option here is selected so that way when you plug it into a new computer it doesn't sync and then once I'm on a new computer and then I go over to accounts and then I authorize and authorize the computer that I'm using and I put in my password now the reason why you want to do that is authorizing a computer allows iTunes to see all your media files and transfer over to iTunes and you could do that up to five computers you could, have, you could authorize up to five computers for one device and you hit authorize once you put in all your information and then you should be ready now to transfer media files or music files and what I do is I go back and I start here this is the library this is where all your songs that you either transfer it you play through iTunes or they locate it somewhere in your computer that it, the iTunes detected the way I transfer them is I highlight one by one holding the command button and then I put them in here what you're gonna see is pretty, pretty much everything that you've transferred and if you see any of those songs like Cray then that means they didn't transfer properly so you have to right click it delete it and then go back here and transfer it back now I had a hard time finding the delete option so I didn't know what I what I was missing and I read online that if you go back here back to your phone on summary if you make sure this option here is selected it should allow you to manage your music manually and that delete option should come up in there now if you're on a new computer and you still see light gray music and you can't delete it then somehow the content is corrupted and you may have to find the original mp3 file or which, whichever format you have it as and place it back on your library and then dump it back to your phone or put it back on your phone to see if it clears the light gray problem additionally if you want to know where is the iTunes media folder it's over finder then you click on your hard drive users home here music iTunes your media folders music and this is where all the mp3 files are at and that's pretty much how I use iTunes if you have any questions leave your comment below thank you for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel